Hey, what's going on guys? That was weird. George does random here and welcome to another video. And this time it's gonna be something different. I don't really want to do Minecraft today and I can't. Uh what? Oh. Oh um we didn't have to see that, it just crashed. Okay, so anyway. I'm not going to edit this out because everything you will see here is just, I don't know, normal? Not really, this game is, yeah. I mean, I haven't got spoiled yet, even though this is pretty late. Like, I should be playing this before, but I didn't know that, you know, I should play this game. Like, I didn't really care about that much before. But yeah, I this was this a nostalgic game and I played it already, but of course I haven't played the full game yet. That's why I really wanted to show you guys. It's not as what you seem to see because sure, it's just cutesy, right? It even says this game is oh, never mind. This game is not suitable for children or those who are easily disturbed. Guys, I'm warning you cuz this is a oh a weird game like even though it's it looks normal it looks cutesy there's some pretty weird aspects to this that are just like not for the faint of heart so if you're not you know strong enough just click away I guess but if you want to try to stay so that you know you can at least appreciate content I will not edit this out by the way the one that just crashed nope I don't care individual surfing so guys I'm already warning you all right but this is definitely gonna be a fun game well I'm surprised that I can actually play this on Android I, at least I don't really have to do anything on my PC welcome to Doki Doki Literature Club guys yeah that's it so go a new game man eh? And of course, I'm gonna enter my usual name, George. Man, I can't really see anything, so I'm not really sure. George, enter. Okay. Hey. Terrible voice acting. I'm gonna try to voice act in this. That course for plus. I can't even speak already. That girl, Sayori, my neighbor and good friend, says we were children. You know the kind of friend you never see yourself making today, but it just kind of works out because we've known each other for so long. We used to walk to school together on days like this. Starting around high school, she would oversleep more and more frequently. I would get tired of waiting up. Oh, uh, okay, oof. But if she's going to chase me after it like this, I almost feel better off running away. I'm not really used to these, like, visual novels. Anyway. However, I just saw an idol in front of the crosswalk and let Sari catch up to me. Sorry if I can't speak well. I just came sick, you know. Anyway, ha, ha. Oh, if you didn't know, guys, that's why it was taking so long. I was actually sick. I was actually sick. So, yeah, I'm back. Sorry for taking so long. I mean, I was very sick. Anyway, I overslept again. But I caught you this time. Maybe, but only because I decided to stop and wait for you. Oof. Eh? You say that you like you were thinking about ignoring me. That's mean, George. Oof. Ouch. Well, if people stare at you for acting weird, then I don't want them to think we're a couple or something. Or something. Ugh. I'm already glitched myself. Look at this. What? I'm already glitched myself. That's just weird. Okay, whatever. Fine, fine. But you did wait for me after all. I guess you don't have it in you to be mean, even if you don't want to. Or even if you want to. But I really say Sayori. Okay, I'm just gonna do this. <laughs> this is so awkward. We cross the street together and make our way to school. Oh, man, I can't speak well, sorry. As we draw near, the streets become increasingly speckled with other students making their ca daily commutes. By the way, George, have you decided on a club to join yet? Club? I told you already, I'm not really interested in joining any clubs. I haven't been looking either. Eh? 
That's not true. You told me you would join the club this year. Did I? Did I? Did I? I'm sure it's, pos it's possible that I did in one of our many conversations where I dismissively go along with whatever she's going on about. Tori likes to worry a little bit. Yeah, a little too much about me when I'm perfectly content just by getting on average while spending my free time on games and anime. Uh huh. I was talking about how I'm worried that you won't learn how to socialize or have any skills before college. Your happiness is really important to me, you know? And I know you're happy right now, but I doubt at the thought of you becoming a neat in a few years because you're not used to the real world. If you guys don't know what neat means, it means that you're just a lazy ass piece of shit and you don't care about anything. That's basically how it is. You trust me, right? Don't make me keep worrying about you. Alright, alright. I'll look at a few clubs that make you happy. No promises, though. Will you at least promise me you'll try a little? Yeah, I guess I'll promise you that. Yay! It's so adorable, but yet... We're gonna get into the weird parts later. More than that, I'm surprised I even let myself relent to her. I guess seeing her worry so much about me makes me want to ease her mind at least a little bit. Even if she does exaggerate everything inside of her head. The school day is as ordinary as ever. It's over before I know it. After I pack up my things, I stare blankly at the wall, looking for an ounce of motivation. Clubs. Fire wants me to check out some clubs. I guess I have no choice but to start with the anime club, <laughs> typically. I mean, I can kind of relate. Hello? Sayori? Sayori must have come into the classroom and was spacing out. I look around and realize that I'm the only, only one left in the classroom. I thought I caught you coming out of the classroom, but I saw you just sitting, whatever. <laughs> oh, so you're even worse than me sometimes, I'm impressed. About those guys. You don't need to wait far for me if it's going to make you late for your own club. Well, I thought you may, might. What? You might need some encouragement, so I thought you'd know. Know what? Well, that you could come to my club. Sorry. Yeah. There's no one going to your club. Eh? Meanie. Oof. Sorry is the vice president of the literature club. Not that I was ever aware that she had any interest in liter literature. In fact, I'm 99% sure she only did it because she thought it would be fun to help it start a new club. Since she was the first one to show interest after the one who pro proposed the club, she inherited the, t the title Vice President. That said, my interest in literature is guaranteed to be even less. Yeah, I'm going to the anime club. Come on, please. Aww. Why do you care so much anyway? Well, I kind of told the club yesterday I would bring in a new member. Natsuki made cupcakes and everything. <laughs> Don't make promises you can't keep. I can't tell if Sayori is really that much of an airhead, or if she's so cunning as to have planned all of this out. I let out a long sigh. <sighs> Fine, I'll stop by for a cupcake, okay? Yes, let's go! so adorable and thus today marks the day I sold my soul for a cupcake I dejectedly follow Sayori across the school and upstairs a section of the school I rarely visit being generally used for third year classes and activities ah sorry Sayori full of energy swings open the classroom door everyone the new member is here I told you don't call me a new member eh I glance around the room. Welcome to the Real Literature Club. It's a pleasure meeting you. I mean, that's my voice for Yuri, I don't know. Yeah, by the way, this girl's Yuri, if you didn't know. Sorry, I always say things about you. I think that's what it said. Seriously? You brought a boy? I mean, that's what I think with Natsuki, I guess. That's Natsuki. Wait, to... way to kill the atmosphere. <laughs> that's so weird. Okay, what should I do for Monica? Um... Ha, ah, George! What a nice surprise! I guess that could be my voice for Monica, I don't know. Welcome to the club! Uh... All words escape me in this situation. This club. 
is full of incredibly cute girls. What are you looking at? Ooh. If you want to say something, say it. Uh, so sorry. Natsuki. Huh. The girl with the sour attitude, whose name is apparently Natsuki, is one I don't recognize. Of course, I don't think so. Her small, her small figure makes me think she's probably a first year. She's also one of the one who made cupcakes, according to, to Sayori. You can just ignore her when she gets moody. Sari says that quietly into my ear, then turns back toward the other girls. Anyway, this is Natsuki, always full of energy. And this is Yuri, the smartest in the club. <sighs> Don't say things like that. Yuri, who appears comparably more mature and timid, seems to have a hard time keeping up with people like Sir and Natsuki. Okay. Oh well, it's nice. It's nice to meet both of you. It sounds like you already know Monica. Is that right? Uh, wait, what was her voice again? That's right. <laughs> I don't really know what your voice is. It's great to see you again, George. Monica smiles sweetly. All right, we do we do know each other. Well, we rarely talked, but we were in the same class last year. Monica was probably the most popular girl in class. Smart. Beautiful, athletic, basically completely out of my league. So having her smile at me so genuinely feels feels a little. You, you too, Monica. Come sit down, George. We made room for you at the table, so you can next to, you, so you can sit next to me or Monica. I'll get the cupcakes. Hey, I made them. I'll get them. Sorry, I got a little too excited. How about I make some tea as well? <laughs> That's so weird with the freaking voices. The girls have a few desks arranged to form a table. As Sawyer mentioned, it's been widened so that there's one space next to Monica and one space next to Sayori. Natsuki and Yuri walk over the corner to the corner of the room where Natsuki grabs a wrapped tray and Yuri opens the closet. Still feeling awkward, I take a seat next to Sayori. Natsuki proudly marches back to the table, tray in hand. Okay, are you ready? Ta-da! Whoa! <laughs> Natsuki lifts the foil off the tray to reveal a dozen white fluffy cupcakes decorated to look like little Nekos. If you didn't know what I mean by that, the whiskers are drawn with icing, with little pieces of chocolate where you used to make ears. So cute! Oh, I had no idea you were so good at baking, Natsuki. Haha, <laughs> well, you know. I'm still constant with the voice acting. Just, oh. Just hurry and take one! Oh, it's so cute. Sire grabs one first, then Monica, I follow. It's delicious! Sire talks with her mouthful and has already managed to get icing on her face. <clears throat> Is that icing? I turn the cupcake around with my fingers, looking for the best angle to take a bite. Natsuki is quiet. I can't help but notice her sneaking glances in my direction. Is she waiting for me to take a bite? I finally bite down. <coughs> <coughs> no, I choked. The icing is sweet and full of flavor. I wonder if she made it herself. This is really good. <coughs> Thank you, Natsuki. Why are you thinking me? It's not like I... Haven't I heard this somewhere before? Make him for you anything. Huh? I thought you technically did, Sayuri said. Well, maybe. But that for you, you dummy. Alright, alright. I give up on Natsuki's weird logic and dismiss the conversation. Yuri returns to the table carrying a tea set. She carefully places a teacup in front of each of us before setting down the teapot next to the cupcake tray. You keep oh you keep a whole tea set in this classroom? Don't worry, the teachers gave us permission. After all, doesn't a hot cup of tea help you enjoy a good book? I guess so. I guess. Ooh, I recall that. Huh. 
Don't let get yourself to get intimidated. Intimate. Intimidated. Sorry. Beerus is trying to impress you. Huh? That's not. Insulted. Insulted. Yura looks away. I, I meant that, you know. I believe you. Well, tea and reading might not be a pastime for me, but I at least enjoy tea. I'm glad. Your faintly smiles to herself in a relief. Monica raises an eyebrow and smiles at me. Yeah. So, what you what made you consider the literature club? Um, I was afraid of this question. Something tells me I shouldn't tell Monica that I was practically dragged here by Sayori. Well, I haven't joined any clubs yet, and Sayori seemed really happy here, so... That's okay. Don't be embarrassed. We'll make sure you feel right at home, okay? As president of the literature club, it's my duty to make the club fun and exciting for everyone. Monica, I'm surprised. How come you decided to start your own club? You could probably be a board member for any of the major clubs. Weren't you a leader of the K debate club last year? Okay. Uh, well, you know. To be honest, I can't stand all of the politics around the major clubs. It feels like nothing but arguing about the budget and pub publicity and how to prepare for events. I'd rather, I'd much rather take something I personally enjoy and make something special out of it. And if it encourages others to get into literature, then I'm fulfilling that dream. Monica really is a great leader. Yuri also nods in agreement. Then I'm surprised there aren't more people in the club yet. It must be hard to start a new club. You could put it that way. How I many people are very interested in putting out all effort to start something brand new? Especially when something that, that doesn't grab under, ah, sorry, your attention, like literature. You have to work hard to convince people that you're both funding for worthwhile. But it makes school events like the festival that much more important. I'm confident that we can all really grow this club before we graduate. Right, everyone? Yeah! Wait, what? We'll do our best. You know it! Everyone enthusiastically agrees. Such different girls, all interested in the same goal. Monica must have worked really hard just to find these three. Maybe, that, maybe that's why they were all so delighted by the, the idea of a new member joining. Though I still don't really know if I can keep up with their level of enthusiasm about literature. So George, what kinds of things do you like to read? Well, uh, considering how little I've read this, these past few years, I don't really have a good way of answering that. Manga. I mutter quietly to myself, half joking. Natsuki's head suddenly perks up. Looks like she wants to say something, but she keeps quiet. Not, not much of a reader, I guess. Well, that can change. What am I saying? I spoke without thinking of her seeing Yuri's sad smile. Anyway, what about you, Yuri? Well, let's see. Yuri chases the rim of her teacup with her finger. <laughs> My favorite, oh, my favorites are usually novels that build deep and complex fantasy worlds. The level of creativity and craftsmanship behind them is amazing to me. And telling a good story in such a foreign world is equally impressive. Yuri goes on, clearly passionate about her reading. She seems so reserved and timid since the moment I walked in. It's obvious by the way her eyes light up that she finds her comfort in the world of books, not people. But you know, I like a lot of things. Stories with deep psychological elements usually immerse me as well. <laughs> Those words. Is it amazing how a writer can so de deliberate, uh, sorry, deliberate, deliberately take advantage of your own lack of imagination to completely throw you for a loop? Anyway, I've been reading a lot of horror lately. Ah, I read, I read a horror book, bro book once. I desperately grasp something I can relate to a minimum, at the minimum level. At this rate, you're might as well having a conversation with a rock. <laughs> really? I wouldn't have expected that, Yuri. For someone as gentle as you. I guess you could say that. But if a story makes me think, or make, takes me to another world, then I can't really put it down. Surreal horror is often very successful at changing the way you look at the world. If only for a brief moment. 
Oh, geez, sorry. Ugh, I hate her. Oh, well, why is that? Well, I just... Natsuki's eyes dart over to meet for a split second. Never mind. That's right. You usually like to write about cute things, don't you, Natsuki? What? What gives you that idea? You left a, you left a piece of scrap paper behind last club meeting. It looked like you were working on a poem called... Don't say it loud! <laughs> and give that back! That's so cute. Fine, fine. <laughs> your cupcakes, your poems. Everything you do is just as cute as you are. Sorry, so, so Sittles? Behind Natsuki and puts her hands on her shoulders. I'm not cute! Not, Natsuki, you write your own poems? Oh, well, I guess sometimes. Why do you care? I think that's impressive. Why don't you share them sometime? N no! Natsuki averts her eyes. Y you won't like them. <coughs> I'm sorry. Not a very confident writer yet. I understand how Natsuki feels. Sharing that love of writing takes more than just confidence. Truth for writing is writing to one. Oh, sorry. Writing to oneself. <coughs> that voice makes my throat hurt so bad. You must be willing to open up your, to your readers, exposing your vulnerability. Vulnerabilities and sharing even the deepest reaches of your heart. Do you have writing experience too, you? Maybe if you share some of your work, you can set an example and help Natsuki feel comfortable enough to share hers. Uh, I guess it's the same. Oh, sorry. I guess it's the same for you. <laughs> what? Aww, I want to read everyone's poems. You all sit in silence for a moment. Okay. I have an idea, everyone. Eh? Eh? Natsuki and Yuri look quizzically at Monica. Let's go. Let's all go home and write a poem of our own. That rhymes. The next time we meet, we'll all share them with each other. That way, everyone's even. Uh, um. You know what? I'll do the 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 normal voice because I can't do it anymore. It just hurts me. <coughs> even Yuri. I'm just gonna do a normal voice. Maybe try to make it a little bit different, but not that different. Yeah, let's do it! Plus, now that we have a new member, I think it will help us get a little more comfortable with each other. It's right in the bun of the club. Isn't that right, George? Monica smiles warmly at me once again. Hold on, there's still one problem. Eh, what's that? Now that we're back to the original topic of me joining the club, I bluntly come forth what's been on my mind the entire time. I never said I would join this club. Sorry may have co convinced me to stop by, but I never made an end any decision. I still have other clubs to look at and um, I lose my train of thought. All four girls stare back at me with de dejected eyes. But, but, I'm sorry, I thought, hmm, George, oof. That hurts so bad. You all... I'm defenseless against these girls. How am I supposed to make a clear-headed decision was like this? It is. Writing poems is the price I need to pay in order to spend everything with these beautiful girls. Right. Okay, I've decided then. I'll join the literature club. One by one, the girls' eyes lighten up. Yes, I'm so happy! Sai so wraps her arms around me jumping up and down. Hey, you really did scare me for a moment. If you really just came for the cupcakes, I'll be super pissed. <laughs> I think that's better. Then that makes it official. Welcome to the literature club. Oh, thanks, I guess. <clears throat> okay, everyone. I think with that, we can officially end today's meeting on a good note. Everyone remember the night's assignment. Write a poem to bring to the next meeting so we can all share. Monica looks over at me once more. George, I look forward to seeing how you express yourself. <laughs> y yeah. Can I really impress the class star Monica with my mediocre writing skills? I already feel the anxiety well welling up inside me. 
Meanwhile, the girls continue to chit chat as Yuri and Natsuki clean, clean up their food. Hey George, since we're already here, do you want to walk home together? That's right, Sari and I never walk home together anymore because she's always stayed at her school for clubs. Sure, might as well. Yay! That's so adorable. With that, the two of us depart the club room and make our way home. The whole way, my mind wanders back and forth between the four girls. Sayori, Natsuki, Yuri, and of course, Monica. Will I really be happy, happy sendi spending every day after school in the literature club? Perhaps I'll have the chance to grow closer to one of these girls. Alright, I just need to make one of the most of my circumstances and I'm sure good fortune will find me. And I guess that starts with writing a poem tonight. To might? Tonight. Aw. It's time to write a po start to write a poem. Pick words you think your favorite Clementine will like. Something good might happen with those. Oh. Interesting. Okay, I'm gonna have to save this. I don't know why, but I just feel like I need to save it. Okay, so we'll go with Sayori? I don't know. I don't really know the words for them. Lazy? Oh, Ribbon? Ah, oh, dang it. Lucky? I need to have Sayori. I love Sayori. I don't know why. Wish? Uh, Ambient? Ah, oh, dang it. Depression? Oh. I just see her as a go lucky girl. I don't know why. Depression can actually do that, but okay. Uh, sadness, raindrops, dang it. Uh, anger, bunny, shopping, games, embrace. Uh, chocolate, dance, dance. Uh, anxiety, anxiety. Damn it. Uh, charm. Kiss? No, that's not so cute. I don't want it to be cute. I want it to be... I don't know what Sayori is about, but yeah. Uh, kiss? Damn it! Uh, judgment? Frick! Amazing. Uh, color? Uh, so far, I'm getting good. Smile melody? Shit! Sorry for swearing. Uh, skirt, tone, summer. God damn it. Uh, fantasy? Shoot. Cheek? Aw, oh, man. Whatever. Hi again, George. Stupid truck. Glad to see you didn't run away on us. <laughs> nah, don't worry. This might be a little strange for me, but at least keep my word. Well, I'm back at the literature club. Okay, I think this is it, guys. I know that was a short, like, video, but yeah, I'll still continue with this, of course. Sorry if it's awkward, I can't really edit anything, and sorry about my cam being weird, like, it just did this. Hopefully, it doesn't do that in the next episode. But yeah, I guess I have to end this. Definitely, the title of this video is just clickbait. <laughs> but yeah. It is indeed fricked up, so maybe I'll reuse that thumbnail, but just put episode 2, I don't know. I don't know what will happen, alright? I, I pre-edited that before I even started this video, so that when I upload it, it's just gonna go directly. But, I think that's it, guys. Um, yeah, thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed that. Um, so, if you want to see more of this, I guess, go ahead and subscribe if you're new here. Because, you know, only, like, 96%, or I mean, only free, like, 4% of my subscribe, so, only 4% of my viewers are actually subscribed, so if you're new here, and if you want to see more of this, why not, go ahead and subscribe, so, yeah. Okay, I keep saying it, but yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna save it, and we'll, we'll continue, so, thank you guys for watching, I'll see you guys next time. Bye!